if WhatsApp calls are not showing on Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 7 or Z Flip 7 FE, here's what you can do in order to try to solve your issues. So first of all, we're going to open settings, scroll down in settings and go to apps. And over here, we're going to find WhatsApp. Let's just go over here. And there we go. And the first thing that you can do is simply uh, go to the storage where we can clear data. You might be required to sign into your WhatsApp account again. So just make sure that you know your password, etc., before you can actually do that and just confirm. So go over here and then you should be able to, uh, you will be redirected to the uh, WhatsApp settings where you can clear the data. You can also try to clear cache as well. Besides that, we can find permissions. So over here, let's go to permissions. And we need to make sure that certain permissions are allowed. So in my case, no permissions are set up yet, but such permissions as call logs and contacts and camera, microphone, nearby devices, notifications, especially notifications, phone and SMS, and perhaps photos and videos as well, if you want to, of course, share the media. So all of these options should be granted. So go through every single one of these options and grant the permission. Uh, at least of those that I mentioned, uh, but you can of course grant permission for everything. So uh, besides that, another thing that is worth checking out is the notifications over here. So of course we need to allow notifications and make sure that the notifications are visible in the lock screen. The app icon badge can be toggled over here and notification pop-up can also be toggled. There is also show or hide content when locked. So if you have hidden content, then you might want to set it to show always, although I'm pretty sure this is just for messages. Uh, so I don't think it's that relevant. So maybe you can actually avoid that. And let's see, is there anything else that you can do over here? And I think that should be, that should be all. And remember that you can always force stop the app and then turn it on again in case something goes wrong. Uh, remember that you can also restart your smartphone. Sometimes this simple restart uh, can also help you with some issues. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.